everybody joining in. Just gonna wait for more people to join in. I hope everybody is having a good day. <laughs> so I'm on live on Facebook and Instagram today so we're gonna see how this Facebook is popping see if people actually join in so if anyone joins y'all may see me reading comments from the other screen but I'll answer both screens So for everyone that's already on here, have you all experienced emotional um, bankrupt? Like, have you ever been very disappointed? Couldn't sleep, couldn't eat. Thought you had that person, but you really didn't. Have you ever experienced that? show who's on Facebook. I see one person on. Yeah, you experienced it, but how did it make you feel? Way too many times. Yeah, I've felt emotional bankrupt before as well. Facebook, have you ever experienced emotional bankrupt? How did it make you feel having to go through that so many times? When I go through stuff, it, it kind of makes me shut down. I want to talk to anyone. Um, yeah, it makes you feel like shit. I've felt it way too many times. Feel like I ain't had nobody to talk to. And in some cases, you feel like you talk to someone and they hear what they want to hear or like show me to say you feel like you're not worth it yeah it creates a lot of self-doubt a lot, a lot of negativity um it's like you gain weight or you lose a lot of weight like just or as everybody likes to do put on a fake smile everybody know that all too well how did y'all deal with self-doubt? It does drain your energy. It, it makes you just want to lay around, like not even want to play with your kids. It definitely puts you in a bad space. Someone says it makes you feel like you have a cloud over your head. It definitely feels like that. But how do y'all deal with it? It could low-key drive a person insane. It can. It's been times I feel like my whole body was gonna shut down on me. Like, it has before. It just feels like you just can't take it no more. Sometimes some people actually give up. The way I deal with it is I either shut down or talk to my two, I get myself back, in, back up. I may listen to some gospel. Um, and for Pisces, we love music, so we'll just dance around, try our best to laugh. You know, we always put on that fake smile. When everybody be like, y'all okay? We always be like, yeah, knowing damn well we really not. Yeah, unhealthy habits like eating excessively or drinking. Yeah. Got me a, a little can of wine, but it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. I would do my hair and makeup and take pictures just to ensure my beauty depending on what 
got me down right and right right and express my feelings you know what i write and try to express my feelings and somebody always even find it or i end up telling somebody or something like that so i just like why do i keep writing it down i had the moments where i go get in the shower and i cry Music normally pulls me out of a funk, but when it's bad, that's where the unhealthy habits come in. Yeah, now I'll put that in the notes. Yeah, see, I thought about like writing it down and maybe burning the paper. Oh, yeah, you can put it on notes on your uh, phone. Yeah, I do cry in the shower. Yeah, I cry in the shower a lot. I be needing to. Sometimes it just be too much. You be very overwhelmed. I would pray, share my thoughts, and try to remain positive. Yeah, sometimes when it's too bad, it's hard to remain positive. So you just got to keep pushing because I'll be trying to. But I'd definitely be putting on that music. I'd be trying to dance it out. Or if I'm in a funk, I'll try to go play with my kids. My kids are funny. Like, the jokes they be cracking is hilarious. Or when they messing with each other. Other than that, I don't know how I would survive. It's hard. And it's sad that people actually take their life because they're emotionally bankrupt and feel like they have no one. And then you have some people that, like like me, I'm a giver and I don't take much. Or as people do, they don't give. So they're just take, take, take and never give. And that kind of crushes you too. Yeah, you got to take it one day at a time. But giving so much and never receiving it definitely shuts you down it make you feel like all you are is a giver like i used to believe that i was only here to be a mom like i used to believe that my purpose here is just to be a mom because my kids adore me but that's all i used to believe so like after being disappointed, do y'all actually, like, be over it? Does it still be in the back of your mind? Like, how does that go for you all? If you don't have anyone to vent to, it can take a toll on you. Yeah, because I don't vent that much anymore nowadays. And I try to hold it in. Uh, sometimes I try to talk to my mother, but sometimes I don't want to do that. Yeah, it stays with me. I, I try my best to forgive the person, but I feel like it's going to happen again. So, and some people like I have in my life, like, they take so much that it just keep happening and happening. And guess what? I keep allowing it. So, I have to work on being able to say no because I'm so nice. And people take kindness for weakness. Eventually, it hurts less, but it's always there in the back of my mind. Yeah, I deal with it on my own. Sometimes it's not easy to deal with it on your own. Hey, everyone that's joining, we are talking about being emotionally bankrupt. Have you ever dealt with it before? And I know everyone's seen the post that I was putting up. It's not even relationships. It could be someone you're talking to just as a boyfriend. It could be your husband. It could be family. Um, it's always somebody to put you down and make you feel like you're not replaceable. I mean, that you're uh, replaceable. Yeah, it's not, but I just don't want to trouble anyone for my problems. You never know because it could be somebody that's waiting for you to talk to them and you just never open up. No, but a lot of people don't judge. You have to get, you have to know who you're talking to because some people don't judge and some people do. Friends, yeah. I can be in the mood for days and eventually I just have the conversation with myself, like get it together for the kids because they don't need to see you sad or hurt. Yeah, I try my best not to cry in front of my kids. Like, that is a sad thing. Like, for your, your kids to see you crying and be like, what's wrong, mommy? And then they feel sad and want to cry with you. Yeah, it's a lot, especially for a mom or I mean, as so, even so a dad. Oh, yeah, I may spend time with someone that doesn't really want to spend time with you. Like, you're in, you invite yourself somewhere you wasn't invited to. Have y'all done that before? Yeah, I have, I have all girls, so it's very hard. A neighbor can read their mommy like it's a book. 
But have y'all ever did that? Invited y'all self somewhere knowing you really wasn't invited? I've, yeah, I've never done that either, but you do have people that do it. Hey, everybody joining. We are talking about being emotionally bankrupt. Have you ever felt like that? If I wasn't invited, I don't go. Yeah, I agree, but some people be like, oh, yeah, you going here? I'm going with you. What time are we going? Hey. Yeah, some people, they, they will invite themselves somewhere. Or let alone invite somebody else. That that that's that's a lot too. Like you have to find the people that actually genuinely genuinely love you and care for you and want to be around you. That's the people you should be around that build you up and not bring you down. Today's topic is being emotionally bankrupt. Have you ever felt like that before? Yeah, I hate that too. I definitely hate it. And we gotta stop making time for people that don't make time for us, y'all. Like, if you can't hit me and be like, hey, what's up? Let's go hang out. I'm not gonna call you and be like, what you doing? Let's go out. Like, I shouldn't be the person that's always contacting you. We should be contacting each other. It should be a, a us thing. We should be here. Not as me inviting you everywhere. Yeah. How have you dealt with it, Chris? And I bet you it's a lot of us that give love and don't get it back. Yeah, you can't force it, not at all. You just build, you, you're bringing yourself down doing that. You're definitely bringing yourself down. Have y'all ever gave love? Knowing the person didn't love you or love you the way you needed to be loved. I did that to myself for a fact. I know I did. Knowing you should have gave up on that person or let that person out of your life and you still love them and tried your best to do anything for them. Yeah, all the time. Like, it's, it's hard these days. Y'all don't understand. James, what's the time where you feel emotionally bankrupt? So, in what instances do you be like, all right, this is enough, I'm done. Tell me that. Can y'all honestly tell me that? Yeah, definitely. But do y'all be like, Two strikes and you're out. Three strikes and you out. Like, how do y'all go with that? Oh, James, I said, have you been emotionally bankrupt before? Like, you just feel like you can't take it no more because somebody let you down so many times. And so if you haven't came to that point yet, you still have them people that will do anything to you to hurt you. Unless you allowing them to hurt you more and bringing you down. You got to find your stop point. See, but James, it's not just a relationship. It could be with your parents, your friends, your siblings. You know how we do with our little brother. That That's gone. That's a disappointment. Yeah, I learned love could have you blind, overlooking stuff. You should be put on the front street when you build a bond and put a lot of time. It's hard to let go. And yeah, agree because like they say, love is blind. Like you love someone so much that you'll do anything for them, not realizing that they're not doing shit for you. And that's why I learned to never buy niggas no shoes because they woke up out your life with them. Have any of y'all heard that before? When the, per when the person is just showing their selfish ways. Yep. Exactly. Trust those for everyone. Yeah. And a lot of people lose it. I don't have one. I got what's called a big heart. It's hard to let anyone care for to go to or go. You gotta start letting them go. When I feel like I've done all I could and I just keep getting shitted on by my ex, I completely shut down and became a man. I never thought I could as far as I, as heart hurting women becoming a selfish lover. So give me some examples of that, Chris. 
Of course, everybody mom can tell them that. Hell yeah, especially the females. Never buy a nigga no, no shoes because he gonna walk about your life with them, for real. Facebook, has anybody ever been emotionally bankrupt? Y'all quiet, but I see people on here. Yeah, to walk up out of, out of life, I swear. And that's a bad thing. Especially when you do all you can for them people. We got James joining in, y'all. Um, as soon as it clicks in. Who do you know James is? James no, Why are you on here? Giving people bad advice, talking about something. Don't, don't buy a nigga no shoes, girl. You crazy? You trying to make all these? You trying? To... Your phone breaking you're up trying already. To make everybody on here saying. No, I'm, you should. I'm... You should not. You should not keep buying people stuff if they not doing the same for you. It should be love all the way around. <laughs> Ladies, can y'all agree to that? Don't listen to him. It should no, be love all the way. But this, but this is what I'm saying though. How do you expect? How can you expect for a motherfucker to spoil you? That's what the fuck y'all be asking for. No, I'm saying he may not be even doing none of that for you. Like he may not do nothing but speak sweet words to you, and you still do what you can for this person. Like, people actually do that. He all Paul. But you do have dudes out here that will sweet talk a woman into getting anything that he needs. And then he keeps it moving. We got to be careful, y'all. With family, relationships, siblings, anybody. Hey, everybody joining. We're talking about being emotionally bankrupt. How else have y'all dealt with being emotionally bankrupt, y'all. I know it's music. Some people overeat. You have people that smoke and drink. Like, what else do y'all do besides that? I know everybody put on a fake smile. Because I do. I have never actually, like, put on weight that... I didn't intend to gain, but I have definitely lost weight being stressed out. Or it's been times where you get the headache. You spend 40, Mr. Wilson, poor Mr. Wilson. You go to that corner and they're $40. <laughs> yeah, I've cut a lot of, I've cut a lot of people. And sometimes you have to cut your family off, like, big time. They'll realize that they did you wrong and they'll come back around and apologize. But is that too late? Is it too late to come back around if they had done it so many times to the point where you couldn't take it no more? Because when you cut them off, it means you can't take it no more. Strip club, lap dance. Oh, man, I ain't never been to no strip club to release no stress. I'm going to have to try that, Mr. Wilson. Which strip club you be going to? <laughs> How many of y'all have actually double text? Have any of y'all ever double text? He taking too long to text back, I'm gonna text him again, or I'm gonna text him again. Have y'all ever did that? Read books? Yeah, I read books at some point, but then it just be like, man, fuck this. Like, I'm too pissed to sit here and mess things. I'm too pissed to sit here and actually keep reading this book because real life, you're not reading no words. Your mind is still on the situation. Hey, everybody joining in. Have you ever been emotionally bankrupt before? And if so, how did you handle it? Yeah, you know you're not reading that book. You focused on the situation and you ready to fuck somebody up or you ready to curse their ass out. You had somebody call you seven times back to back in a row. Hey, I've had that too. Like they had to blow my phone up, but I put it on Do Not Disturb or I just blocked the number for a while just to piss them off. I got the nickname of the block queen for a reason. <laughs> See, I I don't drink when I'm stressed out. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I can't find a liquor that actually get me good. Like, never. 
Yeah, I'm the block queen. You better know it. I ain't got time for no bullshit. I'm too old for it now. I'm 31. I'm too old. I'm pushing 32. We can't hear you. Oh, there you go. Y'all can't hear me. What you saying? I said, you on here giving these girls bad advice talking about shine. Don't bad advice. Don't, listen, don't listen, listen, listen ladies. You, can't do you They should be able to know that. If I buy you some shoes, you're going to walk up out my life with them. Have you been Okay, Mom okay. First them. of all, first of all, he don't got to walk out your life with shoes on. He could put some shoes in a shoe box and put some sandals on and walk out your motherfucking life. But it's the fact that you still walked out of somebody's life. Like, you still were gone. It don't matter if you got, actually got so, shoes on your So you telling me, so you telling me, the, your whole relationship, when he leaves you, the only thing you're going to be thinking about is shoes. Because that's what you, because that's what you value as your Look, life. You know, you know what I learned? You, gonna be, you ain't going to be thinking about no goddamn shoes. You know what you I learned? Shoes, if I definitely. lost you, that means you wasn't mine. Exactly, so you can't get mad. So I'm gonna think about them $200 shoes I bought your ass, and you ain't never oh buy me nothing. God. How about that? It's gonna piss me off. That's why we say you need to keep it moving and block it. Oh, hey, that's petty. It's not petty, it's so true. I know every female's mom has told them do not buy a dude a pair of shoes because he's gonna walk up out your life with him. I promise you, they said that. Yeah, that's too good. That's that's super duper petty right there. So, but and you gotta also stop ignoring red flags. If somebody treats you bad one time, don't allow them to do it again. Everybody has heard of that, but niggas don't do Okay, so you trying to tell me you walked up on somebody's life, don't need to put them damn shoes? <laughs> no, you didn't have a laughing emoji. I don't got that much emoji. Nah, don't tell me you walked up on a man's life with some other shoes. I got one pair of shoes, and I don't know what happened with that. Like, when you're in a relationship, you don't deal with each other at all. So what else? What else have you done with games that emotionally broke you? So James, huh? What have you been through that emotionally broke you? Shit, fucking having kids with the wrong mother, with the wrong motherfucker. Huh? That shit is emotion. That shit is emotionally draining. Having a having a baby with the wrong. We can't hear you. What the fuck is wrong with my? We hear you a little bit, but it's like real low. And you said having a baby with what? Man, what the fuck is going on with my shit? And what the fuck is my uh? My AirPods and shit up. Oh, you talking about your long time? Okay, I about to say, don't tell me. You yeah, but time. yeah, but like I was saying though, having 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 a baby by the wrong person. All the persons you feel Oh, I know that person. situation all too well. How many of us on here know that situation all too well? Having a wrong baby daddy, baby mama. We we've been through that. That's this yeah, that's a whole nother conversation. Man, well, I mean shit, but that's but that's what the goddamn stress me because that's because because in order to know what the real problem is, you gotta start from the root of the problem. You gotta figure out where did it start from. Okay, but is it just relationships for you? Has it been like family? I know we're both disappointed. Oh, family. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it has, though. It has, right? It has been. I done had, I done had, I done had times with family where, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could, like, I could really feel what family members really fuck with me for real. Like, if you, <laughs> if you, I really can. Like, I know. Like, I'm not stupid. Like, I'm, I, I'm, like, I was born that night, not last night. Like, I'm from the street. I know. If I be, if I'm around you for five, ten minutes, I'm gonna know how you feel. We Fuck can get, we get say. a vibe off people. Yeah, you get a vibe off of people. Oh, you get a vibe off of people. You know what I'm saying? But those, see what I do? I don't give a fuck about a relationship with nobody. If anybody know me, I, I really don't be giving a fuck. You know what I'm you saying? Do you do care. I don't. I don't be. I, I don't like. I don't be. I don't be talking about calling people. I don't. I really don't. As long as I, as, as I, let me tell you why. Because when I was locked up, all the people, all the people who, who, who I'm not tripping about calling right now, I wasn't, I'm, I was, I got conditioned not to talk to these people when I was locked up. 
You do two years in jail, you ain't talking to people, you not thinking about talking about talking to them when you get home, you don't care about that. That's not even gonna be on your mind because your mind is already there where you not talking to them motherfuckers. So when you come home, it's a lot more easier. Or or when you, you know what I'm saying, when you're not dealing with people. But one thing I do know is if you hang around somebody or you go around people, you could tell the type of relationship that they have with you. You could tell the, the reasons, listen for the reasons why people call you. You know what I'm saying? That's when you know. When a motherfucker call you and every time they call you, they even got a problem to talk about. Or, or they, they asking for something? They asking for something. Yeah. They ain't never calling to be like, you good? You ate? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are you sleeping good? How work going? They don't do that. It's always, man, let me say what this bitch did to me when I was at the store. It's always some shit like that. Some shit like, oh, you done fucked up my, you done fucked up my whole Sunday. My whole, you know what I'm saying? Now I got to talk to you for 45 minutes. <laughs> While you finished studying your problem? And then you're gonna hang up the f- and then and then you're gonna and then we're gonna hang up the phone. You ain't gonna talk to me for another week. Then when I talk back to you, you're gonna be back with the motherfucker that you was just talking about. So you just use my ear for nothing. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> that's how people do. That's that's it's true though. That's how it is. Man, I'm telling you, man, people do not care about relationships, man. It's so hard to really find loyal people, family, motherfucking. I don't, man, so many motherfuckers. So I don't give a fuck about bridges. I burn them bitches down. I burn, I will burn them bitches. Sometimes that's the best way. Sometimes that's the best thing to do. Because all bridges don't need to be up. I burn a fuck out of bridge. I got, I always got a light in my pocket. I put my, put my gasoline drawers on, uh, burn that bitch right on down. See, that's what I like about our relationship. Like, we don't always talk, but we always cool. Like, it's never been like a problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we always cool. (laughs) We always cool when we talk. Yeah. Loyalty is very rare. It's very It definitely rare. is. Right, like. I can count on both hands how many loyal people I know in my life. Exactly. Exactly. Let me, that got one more can of this. It was in the freezer. And, and, I, and I ain't talking about, and I ain't talking about a motherfucker love you because I know my whole family loves you. Because a motherfucker love, I love people I don't even like. You feel <laughs> I, me? Who you talking <laughs> No. <laughs> I already, I already know what you I ain't no. I ain't talking. I ain't talking about. I ain't. I ain't talking about. I ain't talking about nobody in particular. I'm just saying, like, I, it's people that I love. I, I'm pretty sure you got people that you love that you don't like. Wink, wink. But I'm pretty sure. That <laughs> yeah, you, you, know, got, you, you can count on one hand, Kayla. Huh? Look that right there. It's a one. What you drinking? <laughs> Okay, oh, that's nasty. You like that? Yeah, it's so horrible. People, it's horrible. You can only count maybe one or two. And it's sad because sometimes it's not your family. Sometimes it's just the right. friend. Let me tell you why. Because you can't, because you don't, because when you're born, you don't say, God, I want this to be my cousin. I want this to be my mama. Because if I could have chosen my whole family, I would have been a fucking Rockefeller right now. Man, what? Okay. <laughs> now, look. Man, what? You see, look, you you choose your friends. That's why you love your friends sometimes more than your family because you actually sat down and said, "All right, this bitch gonna be my best friend right here," because we've been through some shit. Yeah. You can I have. Mean, but it's you know like it be like that. Me, me and you only, me and you only related because we got the same father. We didn't wake up one day and say, "Hey, I want that to be my brother. I want that to be my son. yeah. That's I want this I crazy want. motherfucker to be in my life for the rest of my exactly. life." Exactly. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It just, you know what I'm saying? That's that's why that's why it, blood is not always thicker than water. I can agree to that. I definitely blood is not that. always thicker than water. You I know what I'm saying? Because I got friends that I know fuck with me more than I that fuck with me some, some certain family members. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like literally, I don't even talk to that much family like at all. Right. I really don't talk to my father's side. Well, I love him. Like we talk right now and then, but like we not close, close. Right. But. Loyalty is is some hard ass shit to find within family. I promise you it is. So, so, so you might did you did you have a situation to want to have that this type of what you call? What this or, topic? Or, yeah, this topic. Or, now or, you know or, what? This. I was strolling on Facebook and I seen the picture that I posted, and I was like, this could be a good ass topic because a lot of people go through shit and they don't have nobody to talk about it with. That's because people don't listen to you. People hear what you people hear what you're saying, but they don't listen to you. 
Yeah. It's different. You can hear okay. me and not listen. He said, like, I need you to. He said, "Fancy things about a relationship you make over time." I agree to that because you know how they say when you get with somebody, that's your family. It's not who you know raised you or who gave birth to you. And for me, my family, I have my mother, but I have more like friends, like they on here that I can call my family and I can trust. Them. But I don't no. trust a lot of people. It's hard for me to trust. Yeah, hell no, you're not, you're not supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Trust got to be earned. Like, you know you what? I like that comment. Family becomes biz, a biz, business as you uh, the older you get. I agree, because if you think about it, it's like it's always money transactions or something like that. So I got to agree with that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell you this, though. Trust is, trust is the only thing that got to be earned. Love don't got to be earned. You got to love yourself. Yeah, but love don't have to be earned, though, because what the fuck did a certain people do for us to love them? What the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Love don't have to be earned. When you born, you automatically are born to love your mother and your father. You don't know when you start loving your mother. Yeah, it you, don't remember, you don't remember. It's already there. But trust, though, you know what I'm saying? That could be uh, just like that. Yeah. You, I, I gotta, I, like, you gotta make me trust you. I can't just trust you just because I love you. I gotta, like, you gotta do something. I gotta know. We gotta be in a fucking situation. Together. Yeah, I gotta, you know, you gotta love people at a distance now. Like, I love people I don't even talk to anymore, but nah. I'm always had that love for them, but that respect is gone. And that's cool, though. You don't gotta be buddy buddy with everybody. Everybody, life's not going in the same, in the same direction. You don't have to be. You know what I'm saying? But, People really, people really don't give a fuck, especially, especially, especially when somebody not, a motherfucker would not like to see you happy. Um, oh. And people, Ooh, and people would say, people say that because nobody people, wants to see nobody happy. Nope. But listen though, but people be like, why would I be jealous of you? How the fuck am I supposed to know why you would be jealous of me? I'm not a jealous person. Why so you I can't even tell you how a jealous person think because I don't fucking know why the fuck you would be jealous of me because I'm happy. Cause a motherfucker with money could be more jealous of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't fucking know. People with real life family friends, they sit on the phone, they mm -hmm. talk to you just so they could, just so they could see how you doing in your life. They don't even give a fuck. Yeah, he said, be your own people. It do be your own people. Like they hate on where you get to because you're not tagging them along or getting them on. Yeah, but I'm trying to tell you this: if you're not, if you're not, if if, if, if I don't give for who they is, family, friends, if they're not moving in the same direction you is in life, you gotta let that motherfucker go because a, a a pastor can hang out with a prostitute and think that and think that he's gonna make the congregation. <laughs> no, I had, for real. I had to laugh at that song. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like you can't, like you can't, like you gotta, like if you wanna be, a, if you if you trying to be a doctor, <laughs> you gotta hang out with people. That's going in that direction in life. Yeah. You can't hang out with you can't deal with people who trying to who trying to be who trying to stand in front of the sicko all day and 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 uh and, 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 and do whatever the fuck they doing in front of the sicko. But what makes it your last straw? How do you know when you just can't take that shit no more? I mean you got I mean you got I mean once you want better for yourself, but one day I'm gonna tell you though, once you start changing though, your body is gonna make you not even wanna be around them motherfuckers no more because you're gonna start doing different shit. You're not gonna wanna you're gonna be like, nah, y'all like it's going. It's just going to happen. It just. I'm trying. It just happened periodically. It's just like you just. There's one day you just be like, "I'm not even about to do that shit no more, man. That shit dumb as hell, man. Yeah. You got to hang out with motherfuckers that's going better, better and better and better life. You Fuck mature. all that shit. You try. You, you try being the NBA, but you hanging out with a with a nigga who's selling drugs. That don't even make sense. Y'all not even. Hey, but that's true though. Some people actually still do that. But people. That's what I'm saying. People do, but that's not going to help you in life. It's if not. listen. Listen, if it's six girls that we that fuck the whole neighborhood, right? And there's a seventh girl and you don't know that bitch, that bitch is a roller. You <laughs> hanging out with six rollers, bitch? You is hey, a roller. He said it starts with you, no cap. Yeah, it does. And Miss Jacobs, we are talking about being emotionally bankrupt. How have you dealt with it? If you have experienced it, how have you dealt with it? Um, it, just, it do start with you. Like, you have to mature. You may be in your head for a while, like, Damn, like what I need to change about me or what I need to be. And then you'll start doing it. You'll move different when people give and show you respect and loyalty. They gain your love when you were a baby. I love having a mom. You love her for her emotional ways. Yeah, that's true. 
Hey everybody joining. We are talking about being emotionally bankrupt. Have you ever experienced it before? And if so, how did you handle it? Yeah, that's why he was like, when you uh when you're born, you don't know when you start loving your mom, but you just know you love her. So I definitely agree with that. But family and stuff, you have they have to earn it. And that's not just trust, that's respect. You have to earn respect. You have to earn it to give it. I mean, you have to give it to earn it. I said that way better. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I can hear you now. You keep blinking in and out. So, yeah, y'all, have you ever experienced it? And if so... So, what was it? I had to throw my phone on the charge. It says you got to respect and love yourself first. Yep. You definitely do. Definitely if you don't do. love yourself and respect yourself, nobody else will. Really. That's the only way. You learn you learn that but the hard, the bad thing is that you learn that the hard way. Somebody will really fuck you over is for you to learn that. Bola. And it's crazy if it's been your mom or your dad or somebody like real close to you that fucks you over because you're gonna look at them like damn I loved you this whole time and I did everything for you for you to talk to me or this you did. So it's fucking hard out here, y'all. Especially to trust somebody. Boy, your service sucks. So, so, what you, what you, Sunday, when would you what do you do? Would you just be in your head about it? Who me? Yeah, you be in your head about it, you smoke about it, you drink about it. It, de it depends, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, of course, like, it starts off, like, it depends, like, it's levels to that shit. Like, it's levels. <laughs> first, not for real. First, you start off at your, you don't, first, you at your, you don't give a fuck stage. Nah, first, you're your mad stage, right? When you first run out, like, what? This motherfucker playing? Blah, 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 or whatever the situation is. Then you get to your, then you get to your man. Man, you probably sad a little bit. Then you get your man fuck that shit stage. Once you get to your fuck that, once a motherfucker get to that fuck that shit stage, you need to be scared of that bitch. Cause that's when <laughs> they go. That's when they start. That's when girls start going crazy when they want. He niggas ain't crazy. Niggas will hit a blunt and they be cool. Some niggas. Nah, no, though you can't say that because niggas is crazy. See, see, I'm the type of nigga. If I'm if I'm in front of you, if if I'm in front of you, I'm liable to grab you by your shit. That's fucking crazy. What do you mean? You can't just smoke a J. You're fucking crazy if you grab somebody by their neck, bro. Uh, they ain't crazy? Yes, the fuck it is. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Listen, see, that's, see, that's the problem. Yeah. No. That's not no problem. You... <laughs> Hold on. I'm calling the police on you. I don't care what you say. <laughs> you just told me what you no, no, You're mad at a female. No. <laughs> you going to jail. <laughs> Nah, you going to jail, bro. Yeah, talking about dudes that go crazy as the females. It's just the dudes that go crazy. Y'all be breaking windows outside houses and pulling them. Yeah, oh, pulling so them in the house and sit on a porch crying. So now you know, you know I broke hey, some you windows on there? <laughs> what you say? You ever broke some windows on there? Nah, I never bust no windows, but I'll purse your ass out in a minute. What you, so what's the craziest thing you ever did? I'm gonna find. Uh, I thought about blowing somebody pot up with a minute, but I ain't do it. Are you crazy? <laughs> I didn't do it, so I'm you not crazy. crazy. You probably, you you probably, you, you probably call shot me then be like, was like, bitch. Oh, we about to go. You probably, you probably. <laughs> I never, I never. You probably went over there on a Sunday, Sunday, too, huh? I never call nobody on Sunday. You know, I don't have to call Charmaine. You know who I call? You know who I call? <laughs> my mother. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pisces is crazy. I just call my mother. That's all. <laughs> just call your mom, dude. Stay crazy. They've they been through it all. They've been through it all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that. 
You probably be you know, called all your mans. Hey, y'all, I'm about to choke this bitch out just so they can stop you. <laughs> You hear me? She me? Yeah. She's me. I'm yeah. perfect. I don't have no problem. Nope. I've never been a problem in none of my relationships. Oh, God, so, it's always them. No, you are not perfect. Bro. You feel me? No, you are not perfect. <laughs> what makes you think you're perfect and you don't do shit? See, because I'm in Bible study now, I do call on God and I put my problems in His hands. But I do be pissed before I do all of that. But let me just go and do what I need to do to calm the fuck down. James, you can't hear me, can you? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, I thought you couldn't hear me. I thought you couldn't hear me. I said, I asked you how the fuck you think he was perfect. You come on choking people. That's not perfect. Oh, I'm going to tell you, listen, it's never, it's never, it's never me. It's always them. Okay. They, they, that's they, some they just, listen, type shit. listen, that's listen, a... listen, I'm going to let you know something. I am, I am perfect. Okay. No, nobody's I am, perfect. I am perfect. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Don't hate my walk. You remember that song? Mm -hmm. And you are not perfect. <laughs> you're not perfect. No, but I am though. No, you're not. Nobody's perfect. Everybody fuck up. And no, I'm, I, I listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I mean by perfect. I mean in a relationship. I'm not speaking a perfect person, but I'm perfect in the relationship. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. Hey, you listen to Future? Yeah. <laughs> you, you sound. <laughs> Too much future. It's too a lot of future. Nah, he he's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Uh, yeah, a guy would definitely tell you he's perfect. But don't but be he me, girl. The shit out you of better you. recognize. That's actually what I'm saying. You're such a blessing, girl. Though. I'm a blessing. Won't you bless me then? Since you since you a blessing, bless me. Yeah, you toxic as shit, James. Huh? You toxic as shit. Who toxic? I'm toxic. Did one of my ladies want to come on here and join and just just tell yeah, him how y'all feel do. about him saying that he's perfect? Please it's do, please do, women. please do. And, and, and ladies, come on. Yeah, here. please do. Y'all argue him down right quick because he is dead. They don't want to get on here. It is they, never they like, the oh ladies. Oh my god, they like look one at lady him. One lady want to join. Go ahead, let her join. You definitely are not perfect, bro. And it's, um, it's, I can't say it's never the women, but it's mainly the men. Y'all always think no, it's not. Right no, no, it's, it's women. It's women. It's, it's women. It's, it's never women. Well, it's black men don't cheat. Black huh? men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. And that's what right there makes us emotionally bankrupt. <laughs> Hearing that shit. <laughs> black men. <laughs> black men don't cheat. That makes us emotionally bankrupt right there. What y'all saying and thinking? Y'all right about that. We perfect. That means he don't take accountability for his actions. That can cause problems in a relationship. I agree. Oh, oh, oh what's her name? I agree. Oh, ooh. Me come on, Tamita. Oh, hey, you girl. Oh my gosh, Tamita. Why are you? No. Uh, no Tank. No, 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 you know. Tell him it's not always. No, women. no, because y'all know me. No, because no, that's not fair. No, that's not fair. Isn't that's not fair. <laughs> he that's not fair. And he's talking about something he's perfect. That's not fair, though. <laughs> but that's not fair. It's not always. But y'all know me, though. Really? So y'all so actually know. speak on yeah. situations, though. That's why you got on. Yeah. Because you can't say it. I will. Say it will. Charmaine, you know something. I will. Charmaine, you know I am perfect in a relationship. Like, I don't mm. do nothing. I am a child of God. You understand me? Just by you I got, saying that right listen, there, listen. I got back. I got back to Sister Cheryl last Wednesday. You just lied. I got back to Sister. Sister. It was a beautiful sermon. Let me tell you something. You got baptized Wednesday. Tell, <laughs> listen, last last Wednesday by Sister Shirley. By her church, mm -hmm, it was a beautiful sermon. Y'all, Sister Sister Shirley. No. You don't know who Sister Shirley is. Who is oh, that? All right. But no, you, see, no, no, no. See, you don't even know you ain't, you ain't even in the church life. You ain't even in the church life. You know what I'm saying? I, I done been baptized and saved and all that. You ain't about to get me back. Yeah, you life. definitely got to step so, in some nice so, shoes. So, so, Samita, for the record, the shit you did, for the record, it tell pop. these people that, that I'm like, that I'm like, I'm like the poster for, for, for great boyfriends. Tell them. 
Miss Tell him. No. After this live, I'm going to have to break this James line. Like, he learned yes, please let us. Why not just say that? We're not going to be I, on not, here. Because there is. He's giving us bad luck and stuff. So what you doing? He's giving us bad luck. Is that my niece right there? Is that what we doing? Tell me the truth. No. You you are the reason why women be emotionally busy. Because yeah. you are a perfect example of it, I promise. Definitely you. a perfect example. I'm a perfect example of what? For that. Example. You are a perfect example of why we are emotionally bankrupt. Did you just, show me? did you just say you agree with that? He definitely would be a headache. You're done. <laughs> you would be the headache in any relationship. He'd be the biggest headache. In a, a relationship, a friendship, a siblingship, whatever you want to call Listen. it, he... Is exactly, y'all. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Who see is this? You see what I'm saying? Who is this? See? Yes, he's bad, Kayla. That's you crazy, see? man. Baby, you gotta see him in person. He is horrible, not terrible. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he is the reason. He's the type of nigga Hello. that makes us go crazy. Oh, hold, hold up, hold up. What we not gonna do is we ain't gonna be on here assassinating my cursor. You already showed your person. You already showed yourself. That's going when you look. Don't do that, y'all. You are being yourself. Look, this is what I'm saying, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going perfect. Y'all right. don't even know nobody who I dated, first of all. So, what? Y'all don't know nobody who I dated. We ain't, we ain't. 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 What is a better way to um, handle things or to make your outcome better so that you won't look at yourself as like, damn, like I need to let this person go? What's a better outcome? So, I mean, sometimes, like, like sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you get, I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't just run away. At the first time. See, he said, I got your back, bro, but own your shit. He needs to own that shit. He will never own that shit. <laughs> That's why his ass going to pause every time something happens. <laughs> <laughs> when, the good, when the question he's supposed to answer. Yes. He, young, he, he's something terrible, but you talk we got to know but, how to bring y'all. We got to give our problems right? to that loyalty and respect thing goes on. Communication is key as well. First of all, you you need to own your shit. Communication is key. Y'all see this? I look like a. I look. You like a hyena. Hey, what is a situation that you have been through that just broke you down that you could not no longer take it? For y'all, is it is it like a fam? For y'all, is it family? Is it a relationship? Is it like all together? Like, how is it for y'all? Mine's is probably both family and relationships mm -hmm. have torn me down. I've had argument about this today. The person I taking ownership for their actions is this friend you talking about, or is this ex boyfriend that you talking about? But it's, you know what, it's a lot of people that don't take accountability for their actions and they blame it on the other person. And that's some narcissist, narcissist type shit. Somebody always get blamed and they never take accountability for nothing they do. They always find a way to twist it on you. Donika, how did that conversation go, though? Did they, what did they say? Did they curse you out about it? Did they walk away? Was they mad? Like, how I did that turn out? Okay. okay. I don't even know how to get old. Hold on. Like, how did that turn out for you? When I go through something with someone, I actually don't say nothing to them. I don't say nothing to him anyways. I just, you did what you did, and I keep it moving. You told him lose your number. <laughs> but do you think you're going to regret that later? Oh, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, it's a habit. I don't know why. 
<laughs> I do it a lot. <laughs> but Miss Jacobs, you gonna have the you gonna wanna call them again. Especially if it's a family member or a close friend, you gonna always want them to contact you. That's how we do. Like they piss us off, they they drain the shit out of us, but some of us uh See, I knew I wasn't wrong. I knew it was close, but I just couldn't remember what it was. See? Ha. You gonna have to pronounce that to me when you on here, because I'm not gonna be able to say that. I'm gonna still say it the wrong way. <laughs> but it's my friend I was telling y'all about. Yeah, like some people I actually had to step away from and <laughs> Yeah, some people you have to actually step away from. And some people we come back to. But I know it's been a lot of people that I had to let go of, including family. And it kills you in the inside, but gotta let go. Yeah, did you leave? Uh, so you're that friend. Of, I don't think that's the friend she's talking about. Is that the friend you're talking about? Yeah, you got to remove yourself sometimes. I remove myself plenty of times, and sometimes I let them come back, and sometimes I don't. But <clears throat> you know how they say someone's in your life? Is that the person you're talking about, the friend you were talking us about? Like the friend friend? But you know how they say, uh, I think I lost my train of thought. Oh, people in your life for a reason or a season? Yeah, she gonna she gonna let him back because that love will always be there. We already know it. Yeah, he's he'll be back soon. Give him a couple of days to chill out. He might come back and apologize for his actions. But we do have people that's here for a reason and a season. And I found a lot of them for a season. I promise you, I have. But you also learn a lot of lessons. Sometimes I'll be like, damn, they came back and they still did the same shit. So what is the lesson I even learned out of it? Well, damn, I ain't learned my lesson with this shit. Yeah, you let that ass go. I guess just us having big hearts. We be too nice, y'all. Especially us females. We be too nice. Get this season in. So I agree, but you got to go through the problem to figure out which one is here for a reason or a season. Got to figure it out, you know? It be hard. That's because you be hoping people don't change for the best. Yeah, because they'll be like, you know, some of them actually apologize, and then they'll be like, you know, <clears throat> I'm sorry, it won't happen again, or I'm learning, or I'm growing, and you'll be like, all right, you know what, I'm going to give them a chance, or I'm going to give them a chance, and they turn around and do the same shit and be like, they're dumbasses, just don't even learn. You just got to let them go. It's going to hurt like shit, but let their ass go. You'll learn. Well, they will learn. What they'll do is just try to replace you with someone just like you, or at least look like you. Yeah, you do. You be like, it's hope for them, but it don't be y'all. It don't. Don't let that shit psych y'all out. <laughs> do not let that shit psych y'all out. Y'all be like, damn, I'm hoping they really here for a change. And, you know, they're going to do better by me. I learned they're doing once, they're going to do it again. That's how they say a cheater always a cheater. They hurt you once, they're going to do it again. I'm still learning that for a fact, y'all. Some of y'all know that. I'm still learning. I can say it. You know how y'all can give advice to someone and they actually listen to you, but you can't take it on advice? That's everybody on here. So can't nobody lie about that shit. You you say you you say you don't do that shit, I'm gonna tell you you're a liar for real. Especially us females. Go ahead, all y'all put them little laughing emojis. Yeah, especially them older people that stuck in their fucking ways for real. So a lot of people stuck in their ways. I think when you hit 30, it's like, I'm stuck where I'm at. People just be sad. 
knowing damn well they immature as fuck and need to grow up. I don't like to hurt nobody because I know even though you hurt them, you still gonna feel that hurt regardless. Even though you did that shit. Look, see? All your asses putting them bad knee movies. So, look, there you go. Y'all asses. Y'all know how y'all are. I know how y'all are because I do it. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta learn. Ready to take it or leave it. There you go. Some people you gotta get your ass to kiss y'all. And if y'all are the ones that hurt somebody, y'all need to suck it up and apologize. Be that bigger person and understand your mistakes and make it better. Fix it. Cause life is too short to lose someone that you value, you love, and you respect. Especially if they was loyal to you or you trusted them and they trusted you. If you fucked up, fix it and don't do it again. Real bad. Life is way, way too short. People down left and right, young, old, don't matter how old you are, you never know when your day is coming. But hey, y'all, I got a strawberry letter for y'all. I'm going to find a name for it. I'm going to. And I got a nail letter for y'all, y'all. I got a nail letter. <clears throat> so I had someone write me that said that they were close to someone. They were so close that they made this female their ch their child's godmother, and they ended up falling out. And um. Like, they're still friends on social media. Like, they like the post. They like their posts and pictures and stuff. And they miss them. But they fell out. And the person hasn't reached out to them. Should they reach out to the other person? Or should they leave it alone? For me, it's like, if you haven't reached out to me, should I reach out to you? If I'm thinking about you as my friend, are you thinking about me as your friend? And like you say reach out. What makes you say reach out? I'm gonna read it to make sure I'm reading this correctly, y'all. Give me one second. But what makes you say reach out? Because they miss them. But that doesn't mean that the other person miss you or that they will respond to you. Right. See who miss who more. If she don't hit you, that means she wasn't thinking about you, nor did she miss you or value your friendship. That's how I feel. But how do y'all feel about that? And she actually wrote out a message, but she unsent it before the person seen it. For me, I don't know if I would have reached out because I felt like if you missed me, you would have hit me. And for us to be social media friends, I would just keep liking the photos and see if it ever comes a time where we ever, you know, can reconnect. They're not going to know till you hit them. Okay, now what if you hit them, they read your message and you never reply, then your feelings are hurt. So... What do you really do in a situation like this? Especially because the kids love, you know, love that person. And that person loves their kids. Just wait. Take the chance. Also, you bobos, you okay how I go? I don't know, y'all. I'm not the type of person to reach out first. I have done it before and got my feelings hurt, so I really don't reach out that much anymore, like, as far as hitting someone first. So, someone's life happened. People go through stuff in life where they have. You can't reach out. You might not know unless you reach out. Okay. I get that. 
get that. Some people do go through a lot of stuff. And maybe if you hit them and they actually talk to you about their problems, maybe you'll be a help in disguise. They might tell you what happens and you could give them some advice and help them. So that's like a 50-50 situation. But I know a lot of people that would just be like, okay, my feelings will be hurt if they don't reach out. And some people would just be like, well, it is what it is. I guess it depends on if you have tough skin or not. So y'all think that she's to send that message to her friend. I got my feelings hurt more times than I care to admit, but it's, it still leaves on my first just so they know I'm thinking about them. But yeah, I was like, that message ain't sound like you can the word or something. I get it now. Yeah. Some, some of us don't like getting our feelings hurt, though. So we just be too scared to just jump out there and do it. That's just like if you find someone you like and you just jump out there and be like, hey, I'm about to go smack. You know what I'm saying? Some people are not comfortable with that. So you wait for them to come first. So we have some that say just do it and some people that say stand back. But I think I got more people that say do it than anything. So I would definitely tell her that y'all say to just go for it and see what happens. I'm going to start telling them to uh, tell me what happens so I can definitely tell y'all the results of it. Or anything on here, there's been like a, a sticky situation where you can get your feelings hurt. Um, you just gotta have tough skin nowadays. And when you be so tough, when, the, when it's time for you to be that soft person to just relax, it's hard to do. Worst thing that can happen is a no response, but then at least you get an answer. The thing is, you don't know why the other person, what the other person is thinking. They might be thinking the same thing, honestly. Now, what if they write the person, the person be like, why are you contacting me? You know what I'm saying? Get a smart remark. Ain't you going to be like one to curse the person out? It could be a bad vibe. You got to think about like all areas in that. I don't know, for me, I probably would have just said that, but some people are different. That's the thing, it's so iffy, yeah. Yeah, they could just be waiting for the reach up and then they're ready to be friends again or reach out. And they're ready to be friends again. Yeah, that's true. So I would definitely tell her just, you know, Try and see what happened. Then the person is an asshole. Yeah, some people can be that way. Some people can be assholes. And some people can be going through something and take it out on you. And then there goes that point where they need to apologize. And some people don't like to apologize. So the person that y'all say do it, just push forward and see what happens. Yeah. So y'all remember that life is too short, y'all. Some people you gotta get out your life and some people you can actually fix it. The accountability is hard for some people. But if you feel like you can make things, you know, make things better or work things out, then I say do it. You know what I'm saying? Give people a second chance. Some people have some things to work on. Some people need to mature, but who doesn't have things they need to work on? You could have did something that offended them and they just didn't tell you and then things got twisted. So life's too short. Y'all make that work. If you can't, then let it go and know that you need to let every ounce of that person go, even the hurt, and keep it moving because you don't want to bring that into that negative energy into your space, especially if you have kids, because your kids won't look at you like, what the fuck? So, yeah, always remember that. Life is too short. Love. Love my heart. Open your heart. 
some people you just gotta like fucking edit and keep it moving. Some people you just gotta you know, like that's just them. Give you some time, give them some time, give them some space that y'all breathe. Y'all come back to it. It always happens, especially with family. But I love you all and thank you for joining. Um, I hope y'all ready for Wednesday. I haven't found a topic yet. I asked everybody for their opinions, but I think everybody's too shy to show their little freaky side. So we will see. I post it tomorrow morning on our topic. Um, might try to do something different. Might play a little game or something. Y'all want to play a game? I think that'll be fun. Thanks for the love, ladies. I think that'll be fun. We play a game. I showed you the damn card game. I wanted them cards. I think you had to be like in front of the person because they be like kiss the person and all that. So we'll see. But I'll post everything tomorrow. I love y'all. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys on Wednesday.